what's up people how's it going welcome to my channel and welcome to another video i hope everybody's been uh, looking after themselves so as usual a quick update on uh, the whole video setup and its saga so during the last video those of you who haven't checked it out i will link it up there uh, but i had a really easy time you know in editing and you know color grading it compared to when i normally do the recording process so i didn't find it to be overly tedious so with that in mind i have decided at least for the time being till i come to grips with the entire setup you know having a camera there which is as you can see it's shaking and vibrating like mad on the newer insta 360 i figured you know for some time i will be vlogging during daytime itself so having decided that the only time you know when i can do this is on a day on a day like today which is sunday so from here on at least for some time i will be you know just getting one video out and uh, it will be out on wednesday at 6 o'clock in the evening so i hope those of you who watch it uh, watch my videos regularly uh, will find it convenient if not do comment down below i mean what would be the convenient time for you so that you know i can figure out and uh, work things around so that i can do that so having said that uh, one of the videos you know since i restarted uh, posting videos uh, is the one i made on what's happening in ukraine you know wherein i was wondering what exactly is that what exactly is uh, you know putin hoping to you know get out of the current situation at ukraine so a few days ago i came across you know this article or video rather where you know he was talking about nuvo russia wherein he claims that you know so the nuvo russia concept is not old uh, it's a terminology which is in existence since the time of the tsars you know so the idea is you know the six southern states of ukraine are really not part of ukraine but part of russia so that's the premise behind the concept of new russia and uh, in some of the articles since then uh, he also speaks about you know the necessity of having you know a buffer zone between western europe and russia and primarily probably that has to do with uh, lack of access to warm water ports and uh, in recent times with ukraine making overtures to the western europe for you know getting an admit into the nato alliance i think putin has for some time i mean when i say some time maybe for the past uh, you know 7 to 8 years he's been planning what's currently transpiring i mean he's been very vocal about you know uh, saying that you know the people of you know the people of ukraine belarus and russia are essentially the same and at some point you know they shared the same language which now is being referred to as old russian so with all of that in mind so i wonder if you know this has been a plan you know that's been in works for a really really long time and uh, it's now just coming to fruition so a lot of things have transpired uh, since you know i made the last video so those of you who haven't checked it out i will link it up there 
but since i made that video uh, in the intermittent weeks russia initially indicated that you know they are backing down and they might actually you know start withdrawing troops but as per you know the intel reports you know leaked by the americans it seems that you know it's just a ploy employed by you know putin to probably you know to bring into effect whatever he is planning so right now as we speak there are nearly 200000 troops amassed at various parts of the ukrainian border and in the last few days russia actually conducted you know drills for firing nuclear missiles so they test fired a couple of intercontinental intercontinental ballistic missiles and one of them that they test fired is from a submarine so it, the situation is escalating rapidly and uh, it is of you know great concern to not just you know the people of ukraine and russia but to everyone else because you know <laughs> nuclear weapons is not a small deal but russia as usual nonchalantly said uh, there is nothing to worry for anyone these are you know just the usual military drills that they conduct uh, with their allies i think belarus was the country that that was involved in you know these drills so but the thing is the wheels are in motion uh i think just i think last night or you know in the last few hours or so two massive explosions were uh, reported in you know one of the rebel controlled russian rebel controlled uh, territories uh, i think it's in luhansk so there are reports that you know uh, the commanders of these rebel militia have called people to arm themselves and you know they have also asked women and children to evacuate i think as we speak we have these refugee camps you know coming up in russia where you know people from donetsk and luhansk are fleeing for fear of their safety so the situation is quite grave i don't know in which way you know it's gonna swing but if you look at the chatter from some of the major european countries leaders such as the prime minister of uk they seem to indicate that russia is you know just a few days away from you know launching a full scale invasion of ukraine and as usual uh, there is a lot of lip service followed by you know such announcements that you know there will be dire consequences etc etc but what are these dire consequences that they refer to is again you know very very vague so i wonder you know when you're not being detailed enough how are you gonna you know deter you know the presidents of the president of a country you know who owns one of the strongest armies in the world i mean military forces in the world i mean russian military is no joke so i hope you know they get their act together and just not do lip service and uh, in many ways i guess these people i mean i mean the european countries when they say that you know they back ukraine uh they really need to you know match their words with action so there are a lot of reports that you know they are providing arms and other things but it would be great if you know whatever is happening doesn't escalate into a full blown war so i hope things don't escalate to that extent but with the recent news of you know mortar shellings false flag marches etc etc 
somehow it feels maybe it is inevitable that you know uh, there is going to be a conflict down the line even the russian parliament or whatever it's called have moved a motion in their lower house to recognize the territories of donetsk and luhansk so these are the territories you know where you have a lot of russian speaking population so those people you know probably have you know called themselves independent or they want to be you know independent from ukraine and there is a motion in you know the lower house of russia to recognize their independence so all things seem to indicate that there could be you know armed conflicts down the road so i'm going to post this video on wednesday so things are you know rapidly evolving and things are also escalating so i hope by that time you know we don't have you know full fledged war i mean which will suck everybody in like the last time you know it happened it happened as we all know the last great war of you know 1939 it began in 1939 and it ended in 1946 where you know scores of people lost their lives and you know i hope this particular conflict doesn't act as you know a trigger point wherein you know lines are drawn and the world gets divided into you know small small groups and people try to settle you know scores that have been you know pending for the last century or so so i hope it doesn't come to that uh, do let me know your thoughts on it because it does matter that you know we talk about it and make each other aware of the underlying circumstances so those of you you know who tune in regularly uh, do let me know if the timings of wednesday at 6 o'clock are convenient i know i'm still uh, very rusty will take me some time to you know get used to all of it all over again uh but do bear with me until then and with these thoughts you know i will be winding today's vlog and i hope to catch you guys in the next one so until then peace out <laughs>